We've seen so many shite shark movies over the past 10, 20, 30 years, how many years it's been since the release of Jaws. Is this another one? Let's find out after you've hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you don't, you may get mauled by massive fucking sharks. Okay, hopefully now you've done that. If not, you're no longer with us. Just a sick world we're living in, sick people. So The Meg for me was a good way to try to create a movie that wasn't Jaws. And what I mean by that is that it is a good shark movie and that it isn't trying to replicate what Jaws did. It's trying to be original, it's trying to be different and it's trying to keep that shark universe growing because we've seen so many shy shark movies and that's because they're putting shit ideas together. Oh, that's like sharks and tornadoes, that'll work. No, try to keep it basic. And this came up with the idea of the Megalodon in today's day and age. How would it suit? Would it be able to survive? Bosh, that's your movie. And to me, yeah, you, you've got Jason Statham in there doing this action hero bollocks. But the main story arc of the entire movie is the Megalodon in today's world. How would it suit? And that is it. That is it. Like Jaws was. It, it was basically a massive revenge plot of the, the shark has eaten a few people on the beach. To stop it, what do you do? You go out and kill it. That's the main basic version of Jaws. And that's what makes shark movies so good. When you try to overcomplicate it and really get into it, you're just going to end up creating the shittiest shark movie possible. As it's the little things that Spielberg did in Jaws, and it's sort of like the little things in this movie that make it good. And to me, the, the way that this happened with the trench being the place where the Meg found its way into the modern world was interesting because that's always been rumoured. That idea that the Megalodon and plenty of other, like the Kraken, have always lived in the Mariana Trench, but nobody has really got proof that that is the case, but uh, that's just the common rumour, but... There's a lot of things saying out there that they wouldn't be able to survive and whatever. But this went, hang on a minute, what about if there is a world where the Megalodon exists and it is down in the Mariana Trench under this thin layer and this is why it couldn't break through until the explosion went down there, got stuck and then were pulled back up where the heat valve was the place where the Megalodon was able to sneak through and get into the main Mariana Trench where it found its way into the seas of this world and the seas of today and i think that made a lot of sense also i just want to quickly mention i think that what you typically tend to see is no real drama no real suspense at times if you've watched the meg for the very first time and you're sitting in the place you you actually feel there's a little bit of suspense and a little bit of thrill there because it's like what's going to happen and you always have that in the back of your head thinking, oh, if anybody's in the water, they've got any chance of being eaten. Like when you see in Jaws where you're seeing like the dun dun dun, dun you're like, oh shit, somebody's in trouble. This was different. This was more like if anybody landed in the water while Shout was around, it's like, oh shit, they're going to get eaten. Whereas there wasn't that in many of the other Shout movies. And that's why I give credit to the Meg. Even though it's not the best uh, it's not the best shark movie of all time and it's not trying to be it's trying to be different and enjoyable I think that that suspense element was still there not the same as Jaws it was different it felt like the suspense was natural it didn't have to be created it was like oh shit he's in the water with a shark that's suspenseful rather than forcing it like I've seen other shark movies try to do. Like Jaws 4, they try to create suspense that weren't even there when somebody lands in the water and it feels, mm, it doesn't feel good. Other things that I liked about this movie was how they CGI'd the shark to make it the scariest thing that you've ever fucking seen. Let's be honest. It looked like Bruce out of fucking Finding Nemo. Just a boy, you are to get him, mate. But 10 times bigger and 10 times scarier. It was really, really good. And I think if we're talking about CGI in the modern day, it is pretty over the top sometimes in certain movies that we saw, like an Ant-Man. That was pretty over the top. But this, I didn't mind it. Because to me, the shark CGI'd in this manner, I appreciate that and I liked it because it looked realistic. Our community is growing day by day and has for the past few years and all you can do to continue that growth is hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as that would go a long way into helping our channel continue our growth 
and to put out more videos for you guys and to put out better quality videos for you guys just by hitting that like button hitting that subscribe button you could do us a massive favor so on jason statham i think this was like the perfect movie for him and the perfect role for him because he just had to be jason statham we're not asking him to be this character or that character he's like in fast and furious we're not asking him to be sure Shaw is basically the definition of Jason Statham just being Jason Statham. Any movie you see Jason Statham in, he's just himself. And that's what you wanted. You just wanted him to step in there and just be this all action hero. And he suited that. To me, I felt that the ending was unique and fresh because it was like, how do you defeat what is like the most undefeatable creature within the sea? This now is like, you've heard of Apex Predators. This is like a fucking... A A X Prex Predator. This is like the ultimate beast. What? How are you going to defeat this fucking shark? And he was like, "Okay, I'm just gonna stab him in the eye and see what happens." He stabs him in the eye. Then he gets weaker and then goes, "Okay, I'm gonna use my craft to cut the fucker open." Not really. I don't think he really expected what to happen. But then that's it. Then all these great white sharks and all these hammerheads and all these different kind of sharks came in and just started munching on the megalodon and that was a great ending to summarize the meg then for me this is easily a 7 out of 10 and a world class film so let me know your guys comments and ratings down in those comments down below please i want those filled full of your ratings and comments and if there's any movies out there that you want me to review comment those down below as well please also hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i shall see you guys in the next one Peace.